Hey guys, so I am currently in Brescia. I didn't film much of the journey because we had a lot of trouble as we were heading here. We actually broke down when a tire burst on a motorway in France. But eventually, we managed to make it, didn't we, hon? We did. We made it. We finally made it. And today, first of all, we're going to go to the Luigi Marzoli. My pronunciation of that was probably horrible. I'll try more Italian. Luigi Marzoli. How fun was the journey here? Um, it was so fun. I just I cried tears of joy and happiness watching my car be loaded onto a tow truck in the middle of nowhere in France was just. Uh... Is it worth it though? Because today we're going to look at swords. I mean, or are you more happy about the pizza? You can be honest. Which answer do you want? The lie. I am so excited to see all of the swords. I heard that there's <laughs> okay. a really, really special one, a sharp one, the Brescia. There's, what do you mean? They're all really sharp. Excited. They're swords. We're going to look at the Brescia, which is um, the Albion one. Well, not the Albion one. It was a real one, and then Albion copied it. But I'm going to go see the real version today, which is awesome. And you're going to see it too, kind of, but on the internet. All right? So by the power of editing, we'll probably be there now. That was a lot more steps than we originally were suspecting, but it was well worth it. Now we just need to find the specific part of the castle that has all the swords, but look at this. Approaching the castle gates, will they permit us entry or throw us off the edge? So, we made it across the ocean to France, through France, through a broken tyre, through a lot of problems to get here. And yet, our biggest challenge was getting past the lady on the phone. That was the real quest to get into here. But we made it. much what my feather looks like if I don't put oil on it after a week.
That was amazing. Amazing to see that. And I tried to draw the, the symbols that were on the sword. I don't think Laura was as impressed as I was. But seeing this has been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm completely blown away. Um, I've seen other long swords in worse condition and I've seen some uh, really nice decorative like great swords in the UK but this, wow, this really takes the cake. I must admit it's making me slightly want to change my Albion order from the Earl to the Brescia and to find the money from somewhere, maybe from selling a kidney but we'll see what happens. Absolutely amazing.